Hey everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I have another cologne review for you today of something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I don't know why, but I never got to it. So let's do it. It's um, Cuba Prestige, another Cuba cologne. I, I uh, did a, a number of reviews on uh, Cuba um, colognes a couple months ago or so. Um, I have a bunch more to actually review that I haven't gotten to. They're, some are very good. This one is, of all the ones I've tried, my absolute favorite. Um, like I said, it's called Cuba Prestige. And it is supposed to be a clone of Angel Men by Terry Mugler. I don't know if it's um, if it came after or before. I couldn't actually find the date for when this was made. Because a lot of these Cuba clones that are supposed to be cloning something actually came before the what you think would be the original. Um, but yeah, that's what I get a lot with this. I have actually never tried Angel Men. It does sound like something that I would love. Um, I do see some conflicting things. Some people say this is a very much more synthetic version of Angel Men that's missing that tar note. Some people say it is a very, very good alternative to Angel Men and it smells very good. And in fact, I have actually seen some people, I'm not sure how much validity there is to this, that this be was so good to some people that people were just buying this instead of Angel Men and it really caused Terry Mugler, the company, to um, lower the MSRP on that cologne, which uh, I don't know if that's true or not, like I said, but um, Angel Men is not expensive anymore at all. Um, you can get it very inexpensive on discounting websites. But I don't know. I don't know about any of that. I'll just tell you how it smells on its own. Awesome. It smells wonderful. Um, and in terms of syntheticness, I'll get that out of the way. I don't really detect that much that some people say. Um, I just don't. That, so that's that. Um, it comes in this tin as such. And Got to get this out of the way. The bottle design is kind of strange. It's an odd choice. It, I, I get it. It's supposed to look like three cigars. It comes with this plastic cap thing. And this is just the flimsiest of flimsy. This smells good. But yeah, crappy, crappy, crappy. This tin is fine, but this this thing is, is junk. Get, get rid of this. I mean, or not. Be like me and keep it because you're kind of a collector. Um, but the bottle is kind of cool. It's a bit of a frosted glass, and I have to say I actually kind of like it. And... Um, and comparing it to the other Cubas, it's obviously much different, but... Um, so yeah, so what are you left with? Um, I'll just spray a little in the air, because I'm actually wearing it right now, but this is a sweet fragrance. If you know Angel Men, this is a very gourmand-like fragrance. It does have some very interesting things going on in it that really set it apart from a lot of gourmands that I've tried, and that's why I like it. But at its core, it is a gourmand. It is like sweet caramel and vanilla and chocolate. It's very luxurious, it's very delicious, um, it just smells fantastic to me, um, and it's very sweet. It, it, and it's very gourmand sweet in the sense, but it doesn't get quite in that cloying kind of way that some sweet men's colognes do. Um, in the summer I could definitely see this doing that, but uh, at, on its own as a composition, I don't think it quite pushes towards that cloying kind of... Thing that I don't really like, um, but it is a very sweet gourmand. Now, I will say, when I first opened this, I first got this, I smelled in the uh, in the tin, and I smelled something that was not gourmand-like at all, and I thought, oh, did I get the wrong cologne? Because there are a couple, like, flankers of this. Um, and no, what it is is that underneath this gourmand substance, there is this patchouli. It's like kind of a bright kind of patchouli, but that it comes off sweet because of all the other sweetness. Patchouli and pepper and wood. And maybe a couple other things, but really it's like this sweet patchouli kind of vibe with some pepper in there. And it's it, it's kind of like a, fr more of like a fresher, kind of green men's cologne, kind of. Not really quite fougere, I don't know how to describe it, but that's what I first smelled. And I thought, that smells good, but uh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. And then when you first spray this cologne... You get the two of them combined. You do get that weird, fr fresh patchouli kind of sense to it, and the gourmand. Those two things should not go together, but they do. I will say, though, at the top of this, as it uh, goes for the um, first 45 minutes to an hour or so, I do get that gorgeous, gorgeous gourmand sort of smell that is just like, I want to drink this, you know, it's so good. Um, totally unisex, I would say, too. And then after about an hour, hour and a half, it does start to dry down a bit, and that patchouli sense comes through and makes it a decidedly kind of masculine cologne. And I don't know if Angelman is like that too, but that is such a weird juxtaposition of smells. And it works for some reason. It really does. Um, I never thought I would like something like that because that sounds 
on paper sounds kind of disgusting. I don't know though that fresh patchouli smell works. Although I have to, you know, admit I I love patchouli. So, if, you know, some people might not quite dig that. But um, even if you don't dig that kind of vibe, I would say like the first hour to hour and a half, like I said, is just this beautiful, rich gourmand smell. Um, I'll spray it in the air real quick. Yeah, and see at the top of this, it does have that patchouli vibe going. It's very unique and it's just, oh man, it's so good. Um, but it's got this sort of um, strange, bright freshness to it. It's not quite el el like aldehydes kind of deal, but it's just bright. I don't know how else to describe it. Then your gourmand comes in. Chocolate, vanilla, caramel, um, kind of burnt syrupy kind of thing. It's, it's really, really good. So that's Cuba Prestige. Um, and as you saw, the sprayer's good. I mean, this isn't like an award-winning bottle. It's glass. It's it's not the greatest may ever made, but it, it's actually pretty solid. Um, sprayer is perfectly fine. I really don't have a problem with this one at all. Um, it's actually rather solidly made. This is just some weird, weird design. So that's Cuba Prestige. Um, if you are into the Cuba colognes and you haven't tried this one, you gotta get it. It's probably the best, I'd say, at least for my tastes. Um, if you like Angel Men, maybe you want to try something out that's a little cheaper, perhaps. Um, and I, I didn't even mention that this is like 10 bucks, maybe. Dirt cheap. Very cheap. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just something to check out. Can't really go wrong, right? Um, there's a couple other flankers of this. Or I'm not actually sure if they're flankers, um, if they have, you know, this, they smell similar in a way. But there's Prestige Legacy. This is Prestige Classic. There's Prestige Legacy. There's Prestige Black, and there's Prestige Platinum. I don't have those. I haven't smelled them. Um, if any of you guys have smelled those kind of flankers of this, let me know um, and what that's like if you don't mind if you've smelled it because I'm, I'm interested in trying them. I want to try more Cuba colognes, um, but those particularly caught my interest. Um, anyways, that's all. I uh, hope you're well. Let me know what your scent of the day is. I always like to hear that. Um, and keep on, guys. Really, peace out.